like to make you mine. Good morning. Good morning, princess. Are you ready for breakfast in school? I like your outfit. Looks like you're ready for spring and summer. Can you say good morning to everyone? What are you getting? Are you going to go brush your hair more? Let's go downstairs, honey. Oh, good job. Thank you. You're such a great helper. High five. Good job. Thank you for helping mommy. You want to go eat some breakfast now? Let's go see what brother's doing. We're heading down this road And I don't know where it leads But I will learn to love you in time And we'll wait for the sun And you've got flowers in your hands You pick the petals one by one Just to find out where you stand You've been running from the smoke You've been caught up by the flame Falling at first through the dark When everything just seems to change Okay, we got you breakfast because we got to do school soon, Natty. Hey, look. Because I'm already doing school right now. Now you got to eat, okay? You want some strawberries? Mm, you got to eat breakfast. Ryan's doing his schoolwork. What are you doing? Doing math. Doing math. Ryan's already started his schoolwork. Madison, on the other hand, I have to sit down with her and do hers. So she has to eat breakfast first. Are you going to eat breakfast? might have to sit here with her because she's not going to eat. you got to eat. You've been doing so good feeding yourself. Can you show everybody how you can feed yourself, Manny? Can you show everyone, please? <laughs> okay. Well, that's what you need to put breakfast, girlfriend. Yeah, I forgot to give you guys a vitamin. You get one, brother gets one. Hold on. I know you're going to grab a bunch. Just one. Here goes your vitamin. You gotta finish your breakfast, okay? Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. Um, can I pick my vitamin? Yeah. I'm going to use uh, this. Um, wait, I want an orange. Yeah. All right, there you go. Um, Eat your vitamin, finish your schoolwork. Hey guys, and a welcome to another day in the life vlog. Do not mind me. I have not gotten ready for the day. I literally just woke up not long ago. I just finished making the kids breakfast. I need to do my hair and my makeup and stuff to get dressed. But. Um, today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a day in the life of a special needs mom. Um, I've only done one of these here on my channel and I feel like it did pretty good. Although I guess it's kind of the same as when I do just a regular day in the life as a stay at home mom, but I'm going to try to focus it more around Madison. I'm going to try to film her more and show what her day is like. So it's just a little bit different from when I normally do like a day in the life. Cause when I do a day in the life, I kind of just film random parts of my day um i don't only focus on madison so it's going to be more focused on madison so if you guys are interested in seeing how our day plays out um then continue watching i will link our previous day in the life of an autism mom down below just in case you guys are interested in checking it out so today she doesn't have therapy we do teletherapy right now um, which is kind of like a Zoom type thing where her therapist will go online and we will see her and we will do kind of like a video chat, but she has that later this week. Um, today's Monday. She usually has it Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So maybe I should have filmed this day in life on a Tuesday or Wednesday to show you guys how that is. Well, maybe I can just get one or two clips tomorrow when she does her therapy and insert it into this day in life. Although it's technically not in the same day, just so you guys can kind of see an idea of how that works. Works. maybe I'll do that but like I said today is Monday um, she has school online both the kids do um, e-class which is pretty much just online classes right now for school they're finishing out their school year online they only have like, two weeks left they have this week and then next week and then the school year will be over so she has that right now she is finishing up breakfast so yeah so I'm just take you guys along with me and show you guys how our day is hopefully if I can get a lot of things done today, I'm thinking about maybe either walking around the neighborhood or taking the kids to the park to walk. Okay, hold on, but we'll see. Cause I also want to film a cleaning video and I have a lot of things to get done around the house. So we'll see. But anyways, enough my rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and finish working with the kids on their schoolwork and then get this face put together and then I'll see you guys. Gotta come back down. This is what Madison does. She likes to run away. Our gate here. <clears throat> 
It's broken so I can't latch it. You gotta come back down. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? No, it's not funny. You gotta come back. You're gonna fall. What are you doing? I have an idea. It's around. You gotta come back. No, don't do that. Don't do that, Ryan. You gotta come back. Come on. And you gotta go back down and finish your schoolwork. I gotta. She's cornered. I know, but she can easily fall down the stairs. Don't do that. Can you go back down and do your homework? Or your work? You love brother? Brother makes you so happy, huh? Yeah, but, but I don't have to be cool. Can you open it for her? She doesn't fall? Yeah. Hold her. She loves her brother. There you go. Mommy had to make sure you didn't fall. Where are you going? Now let's make the letter K sound. Can you say K? K, 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 K. K, 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 K,
kids finally are done with school thank goodness i got ready for the day even though obviously we are still in quarantine i just feel so much more productive and feel much better when i put on an outfit and do my hair and my makeup so i'm just gonna put on some workout clothes because i'm about to work out as well in a little bit so um ryan's still in pajamas i'll probably have him change his clothes so maybe we can take a walk or something the park is not going to happen just because yeah that's just not gonna happen today so maybe we'll just walk around the neighborhood um i changed my accent's diaper yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and change out of my pajamas because i'm pretty much still in my pajamas and put on my workout clothes and then i'll see you guys in a little bit so i just finished making the kids lunch ryan's having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that is like his go-to and then he has a side of it's like a chex mix um cheese it mix with apples to let his lunch and then madison had a, a few pieces of apples she didn't want much of it um she is having her gi issues right now i'll talk to you guys more about her gi issues if you guys are new to my channel at the end i will um talk more about madison and her autism diagnosis and everything but anytime she does have her gi issues which is very very um frequent she doesn't want to eat she doesn't have an appetite so for breakfast she barely touched her eggs and her strawberries i gave her a little bit of dry cereal she ate a little bit of that and then now i just warmed up some leftover chicken fettuccine so i'm gonna see if she'll eat a little bit of it i did put quite a bit in here so i don't expect her to eat it all although she does have a huge appetite when she isn't having her little gi issues so we're gonna see if you're gonna eat some are you, gonna, are you hungry for lunch do you want some chicken fettuccine yeah She's watching Peppa Pig. You watching Peppa? Okay. Do you want Do you want some food, or you don't feel good? Let's try to eat some, okay? And yes, I am on the sofa because she did not want to sit at the dining room table. So I'm just gonna try to feed her on the sofa. Usually, don't let her eat on the sofa, but for today, we're gonna try. Let's see. You want a bite? Mm, yummy! Bite! Bite! Good job! Yay! Oh, is it too hot? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It might be too hot. I just warmed it up, so it's really hot. I'm sorry, honey. Is it too hot? Do you like it? Can you say hi to everyone? Say, my name is Maddie. Say, my name is Maddie. Can you? Yay! Clap for Maddie. Is your name Madison? Yeah, you're being very cute right now. What's your name? Say, my name is Madison. All right, so it looks like she's going to eat her lunch. So I'm gonna um, help her eat her lunch. And then what are we gonna do? Go outside and play? We'll figure out what we're gonna do next, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed her some lunch. All right, so it is now 2.45 and yes, I have a microwave that is missing. Our microwave, I don't know what happened to it. I was warming up a potato to do a baked potato last week and then in the middle of it warming up, it just completely shut off. I thought like the electricity had went out, but it didn't. For some reason, I don't know. Our microwave isn't working and it should not be messing up because we just bought this microwave when we moved into this house and we've been in this house for two years now. So the microwave's only two years old. So I don't know, my husband just, um, ordered a part and hopefully he can be able to fix it. If not, we're gonna have to buy a new microwave. But anyways, I forgot to defrost chicken for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna have to quickly defrost chicken, but I'm trying to figure out what we're going to cook for dinner. So we do have a few HelloFresh meals. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna make. So three that are left is these pork um, tacos. And then we have these juicy Lucy burgers. And then the last option is amazing apricot chicken with green beans and a side of potatoes so we just had burgers um maybe like a, one night ago so i don't think i'm gonna make the burgers just because i just had a burger the other night um so it's gonna be between the tacos and the apricot chicken i'm not sure which one i'm gonna do maybe i will do the chicken just because i don't want the green beans to go bad the veggies so most likely do this one and we have had this meal before it's really really good so i love hellofresh we've been doing hellofresh now for i don't know like maybe a month or two maybe probably more than a month i would say maybe like two months or maybe a little over two months and 
we enjoy it um there i think there's only been like one or two meals that we weren't like too crazy about but we haven't gotten anything yet that we have just completely hated like i said there's only been two meals that we weren't too crazy about that we wouldn't reorder but it still wasn't terrible everything else has been really you guys good are thinking about trying hello fresh definitely check them out i'm not sponsored at all i bought all these meals with our own money I so to quickly share that with you guys because i think hello fresh is a great company and it's great that they deliver to your house especially during these quarantine times where you don't want to be out in the grocery store too much it's great that they will still um deliver it to you guys so if you want to check them out definitely check them out but madison's laying down on the couch she doesn't really feel good like i said she's having her gi issues so she's on the couch right now and this lighting's horrible so i apologize but she's so cute she's on the couch she took your blanket are you watching peppa pig honey oh you don't feel good you want to take a nap you can take a nap oh no why is this lighting hard there we go mommy fix the lighting are you hiding you want to go for a walk or play outside? What are you doing? Yes, please. What? You want me to cover you? There you go. What? What do you want? Are you hiding? What are you doing? Do you need diaper change? I'm about to change your diaper. I smell poo poo again. I smell the poo poo again. Okay, I'm going to let her rest here. I'm gonna let her rest there for a little bit, um, just laying on the couch. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout in finally. It's almost three o'clock, like I said, still haven't worked out. But I was able to upload my video, which was a um, organization for the kids' bedroom or Ryan's bedroom. If you guys missed that, I will link it down below. But I just uploaded that now. And then I also filmed a um, really quick Monday cleaning motivation type video where I pretty much just picked up downstairs. So I cleaned up like the living room and the kitchen and I think the dining room as well. So that'll be up, I don't know when. I'm not sure when that'll be up, but I did just film that. So I am being productive. I'm about to go throw in some laundry. I have to do the kids laundry, especially Madison's. So I'm gonna do that as well. Hi. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then we'll see what else we get into. Like I said, we did not get to go to the park. I don't think we're gonna go for a walk. Madison isn't feeling very well when she's like this. <laughs> when she's like this and I try to take walks with her, she refuses to walk and she'll like just sit down on the floor. I guess I could take the stroller maybe. I don't know. No, we'll just stay home if you don't feel good. I don't wanna make you go outside if you don't feel good. Maybe we can go in the backyard and play. Do you wanna go outside in the backyard? Are you hiding? Are you playing peekaboo? Where is Madison? There she is. Hi, pretty. Do you see yourself? Okay. All right, guys. Enough of my rambling. I'm going to go work out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. How are you doing? Are we just hanging out on the sofa waiting for the pizza to cool down? You want to say how our day was? Huh? We haven't really done much. Because you haven't felt too good today. Right? On and off. One minute you're happy. The next minute you're not. Ryan's still in pajamas. But Ew, it's okay. she stinks really bad. I can smell it. I know, she ears. has her GI issues. It gotta be nice though. She can't help it. Say, I can't help it, brother. Ah! I can't help it. Oh. So, it is almost six o'clock. Right? It's and almost six o'clock. It's still not done. And we well, have it's one... done. It's just cooling off. The yeah, kids still not... wanted pizza for dinner, so I just warmed up the pizza really quickly. Um, but it needs to cool down so it's been done for a while i don't know why it's taking so long to cool down so the pizza's gonna cool down and then ryan wants to have like a little movie night so i told him we can have a little movie night while we eat dinner and that's gonna end the vlog right honey i'm sorry that this day in life of a special needs mom isn't too entertaining but you know what that's how our life is right some days we do a lot of things some days we're super productive and we go places and then some days we aren't but we're in quarantine so we really can't go anywhere right but we couldn't go to the park but madison wasn't feeling well so that's why we didn't go to the park but it's okay hi um but yeah so i look like a hot mess because i already worked out and i was sweating so bad but i'm gonna go ahead and get their dinner done and then we're gonna watch a movie and then that'll be the end of the day you gotta take a bath too okay all right time to get food are you hungry 
All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. I'm pretty sure half of this vlog is just me talking, but I was going to film her when she was having one of her meltdowns just to show you guys what a meltdown looks like. The difference between just having like a regular toddler meltdown and then having a meltdown when it comes to being overstimulated. So I was going to film that, but it was like really, really bad. And I didn't feel like recording her while she was upset. So I did not, but she's about to get upset soon. So we're going to get some food, All right? Let's go get some food. Say, so see you soon. See you soon. Can we give kisses? Give kisses. and clean and mommy just washed your big pepper pig quilt too so say good night everyone see you in our next vlog sweet dreams i love you <laughs> have a smile all right hope you feel better tomorrow good night baby <laughs> sweet dreams good night good night show mommy the red car mommy where's the red car hey you guys show me the red car point to the red car point go ahead you're doing good go ahead point to the red car good job yay good job. okay can you show mommy the orange hat maddie where's the orange hat maddie, where's that red? can you point to the orange hat go ahead can i have that because that's distracting you okay let's point to the orange hat no Okay, you want your blankie? No, <laughs> point to the orange hat. Point. Maddie, look. Where's the hat? Good job. Yay. Where's the hat go? Does it go on our head? Maddie, where does the hat go? Does it go here? Does it go on top of your head? Okay, let's say it goes on our head. It goes on our head. All right, you guys. So it is now the next day. I'm going to go ahead and close out this day in the life. I'm sorry that... It wasn't very productive or it wasn't very interesting. We are still in quarantine and some days are more interesting than others. Some days we leave the house for a walk or go to the park and stuff. But on this day, which was yesterday, Madison just wasn't feeling well. And I really didn't want to drag her out of the house if she wasn't feeling well. She wouldn't have walked anyways. I would have ended up having to carry her. So I did stay home for the entire day. She actually napped probably like three times throughout the days, just like short um, cat naps. So I'm glad that I at home but i hope you guys enjoyed this day in life like i said i've only filmed one other one of these types of like day in the life of a special needs mom i will link that one down below just because that one is a little more interesting just because that was way before this whole quarantine happened this is when she was still in school and stuff so we did a lot more things so i will link that video down below if you guys are interested in checking that out but i just want to quickly talk to you guys about madison and her diagnosis just in case you guys are new to my channel and you don't already know my daughter who just recently turned six years old her name is madison and she has asd she was diagnosed when she was two years old and as soon as we found out that she had autism we immediately got her into therapy so she has been in ot which is occupational therapy and also speech therapy since she was two years old when she got diagnosed um she goes to therapy weekly now that her office is closed or her therapist's office is closed we are doing a virtual therapy so she still is getting her therapy just obviously not in person um she is nonverbal. she does not speak at all we have hope and pray that one day she will be verbal but as of right now she is still nonverbal. she knows a few things in sign language um she hasn't really been using it a lot we're trying to bring it back just because like i said she doesn't really use it anymore she used to always use sign for more and she hasn't done that for a really long time so we definitely want to work on that with her um what else she is like i said she just recently turned six but she has a mentality of about a 15 to 18 month old so pretty much anything that an 18 a 15 to 18 month old does their mentality that is how she thinks um so that is where she is at right now 
she does have a lot of great um progression she has progressed so much ever since she started therapy when she first started therapy she had no type of eye contact at all now she has really really good eye contact she responds to her name which she never used to respond to her name you could literally be in her face saying her name and she would look everywhere other than you so she definitely has eye contact she responds to her name she also is much more um like lovable she was never that lovable child ryan is just that over lovable kid he loves affection and all that she was not an affectionate child at all and she definitely is showing more signs to being affectionate she will now give you hugs she'll give you a high five a kiss and that used to never happen i thought she would never do that just because like i said she never used to do that so that's another great improvement that she has had um she also doesn't like to interact with other kids her age like if we go to the park or something she won't interact with other kids her age but she is interacting a little more with ryan who is her older brother he is seven um she does interact with him a lot more which makes my heart so happy because she'll just go up to him and she'll like sit next to him or like lay on him so she definitely is showing um signs of wanting to interact more just not with strangers just more with like her brother or me um and my husband so those are a few things that she has improved. She is in school. This was her first year of school. She was in kindergarten and she was placed in a class. It was called ASC level one and there was two teachers in her class and there was only, I believe, five students in her class. They were all also autistic as well. So only five, I think it was five to six kids. I know there wasn't more than six kids. It was either five or six kids in her class. And like I said, there was two teachers. It was her main teacher and then a pair of pros. So that made me happy knowing that there was two set of eyes on her because she is a runner also. She likes to run, but that's just a little bit about Madison just in case you guys are new to my channel and you don't really know much about her. Um, she also really loves Peppa Pig. She has an obsession with Peppa Pig ever since she was young. She just has always loved that show. Um, she has a huge appetite. Other than when she's having her GI issues, she is a pretty good eater, especially for um, being diagnosed with autism. A lot of autistic kids have a lot of sensory issues and they literally will only eat like a handful of things. And I've lucked out where she pretty much will eat anything I give her. Other than, like I said, when she's having her GI issues, that's another thing. She does have severe, severe GI issues um, where she can't use the restroom. She will go weeks, she'll go a month without using the restroom. She has been to three different GI specialists and we cannot find an answer to it. We are thinking it's just something that's mental. She has a fear of using the restrooms. Um, she's still not potty trained as well. We're trying to introduce the potty to her as well, but it's really hard trying to potty train a kid who is nonverbal and also has mentality of about a 15 month old. It's really difficult, but we are trying. So that is something that we are also working on with her, but yeah, she just has a fear of using the restroom. They thought she might have had Hirschsprung's disease. She still hasn't been tested for that yet. Um, but that's something that they have um, thrown out there. So that is something that we might possibly have to test her for. Um, but the only thing is she will have to be put under for that because they would have to get a tissue sample from her to be able to test her for that. But um, yeah, she does have a lot of GI issues. We've done everything you can think of. We've done all natural things to try to help with constipation. We've done medications, we've done prescribed medications, we've changed up her diet, we've done everything also about her diet. Um, She does have a gluten sensitivity, so she's on a mainly gluten-free diet. She does eat gluten, um, but in moderation, we find that when she has too much gluten in her diet, it just upsets her stomach. So she was tested for celiac disease as well, and that came back negative, but her doctor did say, although she's not allergic to um gluten she does have a gluten sensitivity so she just cannot have too much of it so she is on a like mainly gluten-free diet so yeah that is a little bit more about madison just in case like i said if you guys are new or maybe you're not new and you didn't know any of this stuff and you were interested that is just a little bit about her i'm thinking about doing like an updated um autism story on madison like all of her updates and where she was in the beginning the signs that i saw um when we thought that she might have been autistic and stuff so if that is something you guys would be interested in leave a comment down below and let me know and maybe i will film that for you guys but yeah that is going to end this day in the life i'll try to do another one of these days in the life of an autism mom once school's over and maybe we are being a little more productive and we're going out somewhere so maybe i will do another one 
soon. Anyways, and that's my rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time.